chickies! So today I have another review video for you all. I just got out of the shower and I have my hair up in a bun because it's still wet and I have no makeup on. And the reason I took a shower and it came out here on camera with no makeup on is because I'm going to be doing a review on a foundation. So the foundation I'm reviewing today is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. That is a tongue twister. I've heard a lot of amazing reviews about this. The one that I watched particularly was the Jeffree Star review and he absolutely loved it. So I was like, you know what? I might as well give it a try. So I went to Sephora the other day and I picked it up and I am here to test it for you all. But before we hop into this review video, I just want to make sure that you guys are following me on my social media. If you are not already, make sure to go follow me. My username is BeautyChicky on Twitter, Instagram, you now, and Snapchat. So make sure to go and follow me. Two other things to mention before we get started with the video also is that number one, if you hear any noises in the background, it's my mom and dad and brother speaking and stuff because I'm filming during the day and I normally don't film during the day. And my mom's on the phone right now. So if you hear that, I apologize. And then the second thing is, is you guys are probably like, what the hell is this poster? And this poster is my dad's old band poster from like the 1990s because if you guys didn't know, my dad was a rock star. And so that's that. He's actually the one on the very end right there with the very long crazy hair. I mean, all of them have long crazy hair, but he's the one on the very end. Um, he was a drummer and a, yeah, that's that. I got home yesterday from sleeping over at Yale's and I walked in my room and he hung it up. So I was like, uh, okay, like random, but okay. But that is about it. So I want to hop right into this foundation review. So let's get started. So this foundation is supposed to be a super high coverage stick foundation. People are saying that a little bit goes a long way and that you shouldn't even need concealer with this. So I'm like, okay, okay, you know, a high coverage stick foundation. That's two things I really like. I have a Tarte uh, Stick CC cream and I use it all the time because it's just so convenient. So when they came out with this and said it was high coverage, I was like, hell yeah. But yeah, basically this is the packaging of it. It's just like all the hourglass packaging. It's like that brown packaging and it looks like a triangle. Just an hourglass right there. And if you guys are wondering, um, on the bottom it says the shade obviously and I'm in the shade Alabaster, which is one of the lightest shades of course because I didn't tan this summer at all. I'm still so pale. But anyways, you open it up like this and this is what the actual product looks like. So obviously the foundation is right there. So you just twist it to get the foundation out. And then all you're supposed to do is just wipe this across your face and everything and then blend it in with a beauty blender, a brush, whatever you prefer. There is a brush that goes to this that you can buy, but I heard mixed reviews on it. A lot of people are saying it's amazing. A lot of people are saying don't get it. When I watched Jeffree Stars, he said it's better to just blend it out with one of these types of brushes, which is the foundation brush, like the, um, the oval brush. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get the oval brush and I'm gonna blend it out with the oval brush instead of the hourglass one. So I ordered this and if you guys didn't know, I did a review about these brushes so you could click right there. But yeah, if you guys want to see the review on these brushes, click there. I did a whole review on them and yeah, so he said that these are the best type of brushes to blend it out with because he did the beauty blender and he did this type of brush and he did the hourglass one. No, he didn't do the beauty blender. I think he just did the hourglass one and this one and he said that this one was the best because it like leaves no streak marks. So we are going to be using this today. But yeah, anyways, I want to hop right into the application because like I said, it's supposed to be super high coverage and you know, I'm kind of curious to see how it blends out and how well it lasts and if it actually is as high coverage as everybody says. So I'm going to zoom into my face. I'm going to apply some primer and then let's get started. All right guys, so as you can tell, I have no makeup on right now besides primer. I just applied a little bit of the Professional by Benefit to my T-zone just to kind of control my oils and get rid of my pores and stuff because I tend to have very large pores. But anyways, we're going to take the foundation and open it up and twist it open. But anyways, all you're supposed to do is just kind of swipe this on your face and then blend it out with the brush. So that's what we're going to do. Now this is supposed to be super high coverage and I'm not going to use any concealer today because I want to get like a true review of the foundation only. So first place I'm going to be applying this is right under my eyes to act as my concealer. So the first thing I notice when you put this on is that it shows your pores immediately, but it's not like blunt in or anything. It's just kind of like gliding across the skin. But if you want to know how many open pores you have, this is the product for you. So once again, like I said, we're just going to put it all over our skin. Whoa, I look really awake and weird right now because it's like covering so much under my eyes. This looks weird. Okay, let's get it on my forehead. Oh my goodness, my forehead is a literal like poor nation. Holy balls. And then of course the neck, you don't want to leave out your neck. If this foundation is good, then I'm gonna like use this foundation for the first day of school. It's gonna look so good, so yeah. Oh my god, I almost just put it back into the box without the cover on it, so make sure that you put the cover on it, guys. Anyways, this is what I look like. This is the final look. Just kidding. So now I'm gonna be taking my oval brush right here and I'm just going to start on my cheek, I guess. I'm just going to blend. Okay, so, so far the first thing I notice is that 
This is extremely easy to blend. It's super, super creamy. It looks like it gives a pretty good coverage so far from what I blend, but it's not looking no full on coverage or anything because like you can still see my like birthmarks and stuff. But we're gonna go along and just continue to blend it out. You guys see how creamy it is? Like the second you swipe, it's blent. So like, this stuff's creamy. I have a feeling I put too much under my eyes. I feel like when I get around to that area, I'm gonna be like screwed, but uh, yeah. Around the mouth area, let's get around our temples. I gotta make sure I like blend it really into my skin over here because I don't know if you guys noticed, but in my oval brushes video, which I linked before, when I blend the foundation out, I was kind of like rushing because I had to like do something after and it looked like I didn't blend the foundation evenly like into my jaw. Like I blend the foundation even, just not into my jaw and it kind of looked like weird and I think somebody commented on it and said I look like Neapolitan ice cream or whatever it's called. So yeah. So I'm really going to try and get that into the hairline. Okay, so on the forehead, I think I might have applied too much, which is scaring me because it's, I don't know, it's taking a bit to blend out. Okay, now we're going to go under the eyes, which is my scariest part. This brush is a little bit big for the eye area too, so I might have to go in with a littler brush. But for now, it's working pretty good. Okay, so I'm just trying to blend this out, and I'm just having an issue blending in my inner tear duct because of the size of this brush. And now let's blend the nose out, and then I'll go back to the eye area. So this is the concealer brush compared to the foundation brush. So obviously the concealer one is pretty tiny, so I'm just gonna use this and kind of smooth my eye area out a little more. And also just use it to kind of smooth any other areas out that, you know, might have been neglected. All right, so the entire thing is blent out on my face. Now I'm gonna go back to the foundation brush and just kind of blend out my neck quickly. All right guys, so I have it on and now looking at it, this is pretty heavy coverage. Like I'm just gonna look at it, kind of look over it. I'm sorry if like my face is getting in the mirror again. Okay, so the first thing is that it's not like settling into my pores or anything. So it's looking like really good. It covers my bags pretty well, but I think I still would use a concealer to be honest. But other than that, it does have pretty heavy coverage. So this is A1 so far. So you know, this looks flawless right now and everything, but the real question is will it stay when I have the rest of my makeup on and when I go out for the entire day? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my makeup and everything like that, and then come back on camera, do a little overview again, and then get off camera again, and then I'm gonna use my vlog camera and just go about my day, and you know, I'll vlog the foundation, like updates on like how it's holding up, and then I'll come back at night and we'll give the final verdict. So yeah, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, but before I go and do the rest of my makeup, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm not gonna be doing any cream contour, I'm not gonna be doing any concealer, I'm just gonna be doing some powder on my face and any powder products basically I'm gonna be applying like my uh, my blush and my highlight and my contour and everything, that's all gonna be powder. I don't wanna do cream because I don't wanna mess up the foundation or anything and I don't wanna give like a non-true review and everything of it all, so yeah. But with that being said, I'm gonna go and do my makeup, so I will be right back. All right, chicken, so I am back and I finished the rest of my makeup and I didn't do any eyeshadow. Um, I just did the rest of my face and then did my lips and just some mascara and everything like that. So that means I didn't apply like any other creams. I didn't use like any other concealers and stuff, just powder products, so that's that. But anyways, now I'm gonna go about my day. You know, I have to edit my video a little bit. I have a cosmo project to work on. I have a bunch of things I gotta do and then I'm gonna go to a barbecue. So today is going to be a hell of a day. So basically, I'm just gonna go throughout the day and I'm gonna vlog it and see how the foundation holds up and hopefully it's gonna hold up very well I mean when I blend the rest of the powders and stuff like that all over my face um, it just stayed pretty well I mean it's staying pretty well it looks very very flawless I'm liking it so far the only thing that I don't think I like about it is I feel like it shows my pores like around my nose over here and on my chin well actually the ones on my chin kind of faded but it looks like it's like kind of like making my pores a little more prominent around my nose area which is weird but whatever. But we're gonna just see if it has any creasing throughout the day, if it starts to fade off or melt off or anything like that. And especially, I wanna see if this is a good foundation because I have oily skin, so if this stuff starts to melt out during the day, then I know it is definitely not a good foundation for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go about the rest of my day with the foundation, hopefully it holds up and everything like that. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit on my vlog camera and then we'll come back at the end of the night and just kinda do a final verdict on camera. Hey Jiggy, so I ended up not going to the barbecue that I was going to earlier, so I didn't vlog any of 
like that. I've just been cleaning and everything. However, it is almost 8 p.m. and I've had this foundation on for a couple hours, so I figured I'd give you guys like the inside scoop on how it's holding up. So the first thing I want to say is I put this shirt on before and I got the foundation over here, but on my face, like over here, it is not faded whatsoever. It still looks perfect. However, I do have a couple things with it on my mirror right here. Um, it started to like fade out on my chin a little bit right there. I don't know if you guys could see. You could see that it's like not really there on my chin. My chin's getting pretty red. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is that it's starting to fade around, fade out around my nose and like crease. And you guys can see my pores really well. Let me see if I could get a good view of it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could see, but around my nose area not looking too pretty and then on my actual nose like right about here i tapped it before by accident because like i had an itch so i went like that and the foundation came off like just by tapping it so i was like that's kind of weird around my eye area over here it's not really creasing on the eyes it's not really creasing on the forehead it started to like get a little bit missing right there it started to fade a little bit right between my brows and it started to look cakey a little bit like right over here so that's that. I'm kind of having basically issues with this in the oily areas of my face. Like it's fading out around my nose. It's getting all like clogged and like weird around my nose, um, my chin and my forehead. So I don't think I would recommend this foundation to oily skin people, which is me. Uh, other than that, on my cheeks, it's pretty good. The rest of my forehead, it's pretty good. It's just like this area right here on my nose and my chin. So yeah, but I'm gonna go another couple hours wearing it and then go back on camera and show you guys the final thing. Hey chickies, I am back from a very long day. So obviously um, I have a different shirt on now and my hair is in a bun. It is currently, I don't have my phone with me, but the last time I checked the time, I think it was 10.30 p.m. And when I applied this makeup, it was at three o'clock or 2.30, it was at like 2.30 p.m. when I applied this. Now it's 10.30. So now we are back in final verdict. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I do not like this foundation. Oh my god, are my lipstick smudged too? I knew I wasn't gonna like it from the second I started vlogging, like you guys already saw the clip before, but when it started creasing around my nose and stuff like that, I was just like, uh, I don't think this is gonna be really good for the next couple hours, and I was correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom the camera in so you guys can see all the imperfections. Hopefully you can see them, I don't really know. If not, then I'm gonna look at myself and just tell you about them anyways. So let's just scoot you guys a little closer and tell you all about it. All right guys, so you guys are zoomed in right now, and I don't know if you could really see everything going on hopefully you can but yeah so starting with the chin my chin is super super oily and this did not hold up well with my oily skin as you guys can see it's like faded on my chin and my chin kind of looks like the natural red color like it kind of looks like it just looks much different than everything else it's not full coverage anymore next thing is that there are some like little lines and like crackage kind of little bits I don't really know how to say it it's like around my mouth the next is around my my nose it is completely creased around my nose let me just like uh yeah and you see my pores really like terribly over here it's creasing and it's just not staying in place my nose over here is starting to get red because of the foundation fading away for the sides of my nose and on top of my nose my nose is oily to the gods and literally it just did not last whatsoever um you know like if I even like just touch it like that it comes off immediately and like leaves a mark like you shouldn't be touching your foundation like this and it coming off immediately it should be able to stay on but you literally touch this foundation and it'll come off like immediately like literally it just came off on my finger but yeah it's super bad and like literally i'm just gonna like swipe down my nose for you guys you guys could see like that it just like went all like nasty on me and stuff and taking this foundation off and especially like the tip of my nose right here it's all like crusty and stuff because of the foundation uh, as for under my eyes there's a little bit of creasing but not much and around my eye area there's not really much creasing there my main problem area was my nose and my chin moving on to my forehead over here is pretty fine but then you get over to my most oily area on my forehead and it is creasing right here to the gods it feels like there's no foundation there it looks like there's no foundation i went to go fix my eyebrow before and kind of went like this and it swiped the foundation right off and just overall here it faded out a bunch you could see kind of right there the difference to my skin and the foundation right there so yeah so overall i do not like this foundation because of everything going on i feel like it's definitely better for people with more dry skin or like normal skin but if you have oily skin like me 
don't get this. So I'm gonna zoom out, let's talk once more, and then do the outro card, and that's it. So like I said, I will not recommend this foundation to people with oily skin like me. I've been wanting to try it out. I knew that I had oily skin, so yeah, this was not a good product for me whatsoever. It might work better on people that don't have oily skin. I don't really know. If you guys have tried this out, let me know skin type below and also if it worked for you. But yeah, other than that, I don't like it. I don't like the creasing and stuff. I mean, it did give a very good coverage. Like, it is pretty high coverage, like it says it is, but it creases so bad and it's just not good. Will I ever use this again? Probably not. My next foundation that I actually want to test out is the new Urban Decay All Nighter one. Apparently, it's like a matte finish or something like that. So, it'll probably be really good for oily skin. So, I'm going to have to pick up that foundation and do a review for you guys on that. And if you guys want me to review that foundation, let me know in the comments below and also by thumbsing up this video. But yeah, so that is it for this foundation. Final verdict, I don't like it and that's all you need to know. So I'm going to go Chickies, but first, before I go, let's go do our outfit. Hope you Chickies enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And if you like this video and if you like reviews in general, then I'm sure you'll like all of mine, so stay subscribed to my channel. If you like, I have a merchandise line out called Chicky Merch. You know, you can buy Beauty Chickies hats, shirts, sweaters, all that type of stuff. You can click the link on the screen or on the link below. If you'd like to check out my latest vlog or video on my vlog channel, it'll be right next to me. And if you guys are interested in following any of my social media, my username is BeautyChicky on Twitter, Instagram, you now on Snapchat. Make sure to go follow me on everything. Especially Twitter and Instagram, guys. I cannot stress it enough. Make sure you go follow my Twitter and Instagram because I'm going to be doing giveaways on there like more often now and everything because I just ended my mini mats giveaway. So I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways on Twitter and Instagram only, exclusive to Twitter and Instagram. So make sure to go follow me. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. So yeah. So that being said, ciao, ciao, chickies. Mwah.